some of the people from the press, they wanted to try it. You have to tell us a bit more about these jelly babies. Yeah, and it's much better to poison the press than to poison the contestants. <laughs> you say that in private normally, not in front of the press. <laughs> okay, are there any more questions? Yeah, we have a question over here. From somebody who matches your outfits. I'd like to point that out, so congratulations. So I was wondering, are you finding it really interesting, like the backstage side of Junior Eurovision, all the TV cameras and stuff? Yeah, it's uh, very interesting and fun for me. You know, I've never done this kind of stuff. You know, all the lights, all the cameras, you know. So have you been to the production room to see how a show is made? Uh, you mean like the viewing room? Where everyone's doing the editing and stuff. Uh, no, I haven't got there yet. You should. <laughs> okay, um, Josie, can you tell us a bit about your, your, your family? Because I know you come from a very musical family. <laughs> and uh, is it they that helped you get to here today? Or are we going to see you here next year with all your family? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. My family is a big um, influence on me. They've been helping me with everything, and I'm very grateful. We got her mommy here, Tina, Kira. That's her mommy. <laughs> so maybe next year, or in the senior, during in the Eurovision, you could do a duet. She has a little brother. Check with her brother. Darian, he's ten now. Oh, okay, okay. So maybe that's what I meant by having a family. He also writes songs. He also writes songs, okay, so you have to compete with your brother at home to see who writes the best songs. This year, till now, you won, but next year I'm sure he's going to challenge you to take this position. She got better dancers so far. Maybe next year what will happen is your brother will be here with some female dancers and they'll go to an old boy school. <laughs> okay, we have another question over here. I've got one more about the computing we got that you're doing. Uh, you've spoken at a conference outside of Croatia on the subject of younger girls getting seriously into computing. Well, first of all, I find it really amazing that you do that. Secondly, uh, why do you think it is so important for girls in computing? Oh, why is uh, for girls to learn? Well, because there is a big population of boys learning and I want to balance it out, especially in my country. Um, there are a lot of um, these events for little kids and boys, teenagers. But there are no uh, events for girls my age, so that means from uh, 13 to 18, there's a big gap. So I wanted to fix that, which I am. I did it this fall, I'm going to do it this summer, and then again fall, and then winter, and so on. We have another question right over there. Thank you, Ben Robertson, ESC Insight. One thing for the boys here first, um, thank you for the FIFA game last night. Can we have a rematch so I can beat you again, please? <laughs> we'll see that. Yes, we will, thank you. Maybe we can even get Josie to film it and put it on her channel. Yeah, sure. But I'm not sure if I have a, a good enough camera for it, but I can try. I will talk. Um, question for you, Josie. Um, I'm really happy to see a young girl who's active and confident about being out there in social media. Have you got any advice for people your age or a little younger about how best to act and things on social media? Because it is so hard and you can hear good and bad things all the time. Well, you just gotta say to yourself, you know, you gotta be strong. You gotta say, that's their opinion. You, you have your own. And, um... As far as the social media and all these press conferences, you've got to think that it's a conversation, you know, with a lot of people. So, yeah. Probably that's the best way to look at social media that I've ever heard. The best, the best thing. It's a conversation with a lot of people. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Okay, uh, final question. If you have the opportunity to be on stage with uh, any artist in the world, who would that be? Um, it could either be Taylor Swift or Celine Dion. Okay. 
Shall I call them now to get them here? Uh, <laughs> okay, he'll do that later. Okay, do we have any more questions from the floor? Okay, um, uh, Team Croatia, thank you very much. Josie, best of luck for performance this weekend. And um, uh, if you could hang around, because there's some people who will want to take some photos. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. Cheers.